some reasons to glue your face to the screen. Hey Netflix addicts, if your Netflix algorithm is starting to show you the same predictable shows and genres, here's the hack you've been waiting for. It sure can be annoying going through the same old suggested content. Don't worry though, Netflix actually has a set of secret codes that allow you to unlock the hidden show and movie categories. To utilize the codes, you need to enter them into the URL manually. So, for example, you want to browse B Horror Movies, replace the insert number at the end of the URL with the code 8195. Are you a martial arts movie junkie? Simple. Just type in the code 8985. There. Master Netflix sure knows the way. Voila! A whole new way to access new shows that you can binge watch and always keep that algorithm guessing. Oh, and the codes work for all regions of Netflix, so how awesome is that? Are you a Netflix addict? Keep watching. Taking binge watching to the next level. Have you ever watched Netflix in public? If so, then you're part of the 67% of annoying Netflix users worldwide who shamelessly watch shows and movies in public, even if it means exposing others to spoilers. Based on a survey done by Netflix, the most popular places to watch Netflix outside the home are on buses, planes, and during commutes. <laughs> the survey also revealed that 26% of its users said they watch shows or movies while at work. Meanwhile, about 7% worldwide said they've watched movies and shows in public restrooms. Guess binge watching can be done really anywhere at any time. And 45% of people watching Netflix outside their homes have caught someone sneakily watching along with them. Are you one of those people? Other findings from the survey, 20% of people admitted to crying while watching Netflix in public. 17% say they've missed their stop while commuting because they were too focused on a movie or TV show. Well, it's your own fault for missing that stop. 11% say they've had a TV show or movie spoiled by someone watching it in public. 27% of people say a stranger has interrupted their Netflix viewing session to talk about what they're watching. And guess what? 18% of users actually admit they're embarrassed about Netflixing in public. In the past, the company has released some quirky but oddly specific surveys, such as one about cheating on your partner by watching shows without them, or Indians being the second highest bingers in the world. Chicago amusement tax bumps online service prices 9%. Mayor Rahm Emanuel's plan to collect an additional 12 million bucks in amusement taxes from Chicagoans went into effect on Wednesday. The new amusement tax applies to charges paid for the privilege to witness, view, or participate in amusement. The 9% tax also applies to electronically delivered amusement. Hey, Netflix subscribers! That means you. Gamers, cloud storage users, and other online subscribers will foot the bill for the extra tax. That is, unless users switch their billing address to a friend's address outside the city. Some argue that it's unfair for Chicago to collect taxes from companies that aren't located in their city. Do you think Chicago's new amusement tax is fair? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Petition wants Netflix to swap one Kevin for another. Over 25,000 people have signed a petition asking Netflix co-founder Reed Hastings to replace Kevin Spacey with comedian Kevin James on House of Cards. Spacey plays the double-dealing, ruthless American POTUS Frank Underwood on the show. On the heels of widespread allegations of sexual harassment and abuse by Hollywood film producer Harvey Weinstein, Spacey is facing several allegations of his own regarding sexual abuse. That made Netflix fire him and stop production of the show's final season. The petition by Robbie Pima in Australia reckons that James can elevate House of Cards to GOT levels of global adoration. Is this a joke? We have no idea, but Kevin James as Frank Underwood would definitely be something to see. Netflix producers, according to Variety, are considering killing off Spacey's character and have the final season focus on Robin Wright's Claire Underwood. Do you want to see Wright opposite Kevin James in House of Cards? We've included a link to the petition in the description.